Hello Lava friends, this week we have more generics and updated mail make command and big migration enhancements for you. Let's go! First we have now generics for eloquent builder and relations, which means you will get better auto completion without relying on additional tools. Thank you Caleb! Next we have a little improvement on the make mail command. In Laval you can create a new mail with an artisan command PHP artisan make mail and then the name like invoice send. Then you can also add here a flag here like if you want to use a markdown mail you can do it like this and you can see um, a mailable what we created so this is the class and then also a few file which contains markdown code. But if you like me, you maybe tend to use um, Laravel prompts because I find them so fast and just so beautiful. So you can also do PHP artisan make mail just like that. And then you will see a prompt here for asking what should be the mail name, which I find really beautiful. Let's call this here order shipped. And then you're done. And then the mailable was created. But what about the view? Yeah, if you do it like this in version um, below 11.15 then you will only get asked about the name. So here I'm now in the updated version of this application with level framework 11.15 and if I try to do the same as before php artisan make mail without any arguments let's create a new order ship mailable and voila now I also get asked if I want to create a few for this as well. Markdown view, empty view, no view, you decide, I will go with an empty view here. And yeah, whenever I need a mailable, I can now easily also create the view just by using level prompt, which I really like. Thank you, me. Because this PR was made by myself, and yes, I can code a little bit too, just a little bit. And last, we have some big improvements on my creations. Let me show you. I believe the best way to go through those changes is by checking out the PR and hear the message by Hafez because there is a lot going on. So I'll give you just a brief overview. So before SQLite version 3.3.5 was um, required, but now you can also use a lower one. So this is one part here. But now it gets interesting. Now we can add and drop foreign keys on SQLite, which was not possible before. So check out on those examples here where we use those methods which we were already using with a lot of other databases but yeah this wasn't working with SQLite before and this also fixes a lot of issues. Um, this PR in general fixes a lot of issues which you will see. Um, what else? Add and drop primary key on SQLite also something that wasn't possible before and you can find here all those examples as well. There's really a lot going on. One more thing I will really want to show is this here, because this is interesting, preserve the order of commands. So this is a general issue that um, there was already, and here's an example. So when you have like two commands like this, rename a col column like this one, username to email, and then create a new column called username. So the issue here was that those commands were not processed in the right order. So mostly for this example, or I guess always this was being run first. And of course, this was not being, was not being possible because the column was already in, in use because it wasn't renamed yet. So a big chunk of this PR is also uh, went also into this. So this is not possible. So now the commands will run in this order that you have it here in this closure. And a lot of those things, um, especially for SQLite, were working because um, as explained before, when updating table in SQLite, we have to recreate the table. So this is one of the reasons why it was not working before, because you have to recreate the table. And this is now what's also being done in this PR to make all those changes work. And yeah, as you can see, there are some more notes here. A lot of people love this already. There are a lot of things that have changed in this PR. So um, I guess if you want to learn more about this in detail, please go check out this PR because yeah, there is a lot going on and I can't tell you everything about this. So best way to check this out here yourself if you want to learn more about this. Thank you Hafez for this great work. That's it for this week. See you the next time. Let me know which feature you like the most in the comments and bye.